Hi friends, welcome to Mind Runner. Today's reading is about message from your higher self. So let's see what message your higher self or the spirit or the universe, uh, higher consciousness of you wants to tell you, to pass to you. We will also have a look what about, so I will try to specify the message to make it as vague as... <laughs> as clear as as vague as possible <laughs> as clear as possible so let's choose your option i have these big decks today spiritual ones number one is margaret patterson tarot this deck is amazing all these cards are artworks and they were the author was paint i was i was like shocked um the author this is how the box looks the author was painting this since 1979. Wow, that's like a life work. And this little Unakite palm stone for you. Unakite is traveler stone. Basically, it's a, it's Jasper, I think, but somehow it has a different name. I don't know. Option two. For option two, we have the psychic tarot. Oh, and somehow I noticed what we had on... A bottom of the deck energy bottom of the deck energy can be a signifying energy eight of swords trapped in fear we have here maybe this is how you feel now guys and this this little stone here is charoit this one was sent by my subscriber from russia to me like a good russian like not the ones which are currently destroying ukraine and not stopping and sorry, option one uh, for you, uh, I didn't mention the bottom of the deck energy, didn't have thought about that, was three of cups. Three of cups, light-hearted, positive, friendly, overflowing of emotions. For option three, we have dreams of Gaia tarot. And what we have here? King of water. Ooh, this guy looks very interesting. It's a masculine figure, or it doesn't have to be, it can be a female figure also, but this is about emotional maturity or about healing, like healing per persona, someone who can heal, someone who can soothe your emotions, someone who can understand you. It's It might be you or it might be a person in your life. And for you, we have this wonderful pyramid, Aventurine, Knight of Cairo. Cairo is a capital of Egypt, wow. like a beautiful night sky. All right, and now the sound healing part. Actually, I don't know if I showed you. We have this little flower of life symbol here. It's a sacred geometry. So we're going to have a sound cleansing with the energy of flower of life. You can easily Google what, what's that. There will be three loud sounds, so please be mindful if you're wearing earphones, especially headphones. Hopefully, uh, maybe, maybe. Lower the volume better, guys. <laughs> three loud sounds. And please close your eyes, and now we will try to immense, immerse into the sound. Now we're gonna prepare our oracles
Hello, option one. Welcome to your reading. We have this Unakite for you, the Traveler Stone. I just uh, learned this recently, that's why I'm repeating the information, because I totally love this stone and I had one for years with me. And I was traveling all the time. Huh. And this Margaret Patterson Tarot for you, bottom of the deck energy, we had here three of cups. So we will use this card as signifier. Oh my god, look at this beautiful painting here. The author was drawing those uh, like 79 painting, 78 paintings from year 79. Wow. Three of Cups, abundance, abund an emotional abundance, overflowing emotions, light-hearted energy, easygoing mood. All right, so let's see. Um, let's see this astrological card from uh, Star Codes Astro Oracle and see what the message from your higher self is about, actually. Progressions, journey, <laughs> journey, <laughs> the traveler stone and journey, mm -hmm. progressions about something you are uh, progressions it's uh, in astrology it's the way of or the method of predicting future there are directions and progressions so basically how you progress in your life let's talk about your progress with your higher self now let's see what what are the other messages before completion hexagram number 64 uncertainty doubt and hesitation loss of faith unstable conditions be extra cautious discord a worry before you have the result in your hands, but you did everything you could. Something about your progress. Progress, progress. Okay, I will clarify what the message is about. Let me see. The world. Ooh. So what, it's really about traveling <laughs> or relocating. Or the world is uh, a completing like progress, yeah, completed business, completed case, happy ending, finished. Uh, oh my God, uh, the word I wanted to say just slipped from my memory. Um, so like com you, you've completed your task, let's say, let's say so, or completed chapter of your life. Mm -hmm. Completion before completion progressions. Okay, so this is what the message all might be about. The world or like world energy. So, for example, you, if you are um, invested a lot or your job, for example, about some the global processes, like the world, what's happening on planet Earth. Also, this might be connected. An option in this reading. Okay, now let's hear the message of your higher self. Time to ground. Oh, that sound was like, ding, time to ground. Imagination. This is a Sufi Wisdom Oracle. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. The artwork is created by Rasuli. Draw from the well of your own capabilities. Imagination. Divine Feminine. The frequency of the Divine Feminine supports our soft, receptive and nurturing side, facilitating our intuition and intrinsic understanding of our connection to the cosmos. So you need to emphasize your feminine side. Time to ground, so grounding yourself. To ground, for example, what you can do, you can uh, tap in the YouTube search um, grounding Qigong or grounding yoga, for example, or music for grounding, uh, solfeggio frequencies. This will give you 100% result, especially if uh, if you will <clears throat> repeatedly work on that, <clears throat> make it a part of your routine, sorry. The path, okay, again, path, journey, progressions, either this is about traveling or going somewhere or like symbolically again, career path, let's say, so yeah, moving progress moving okay so this is what message is about gratitude imagination time to ground divine feminine great whoa unbelievable we have gratitude twice wow gratitude energy of gratitude you need to uh, and use your imagination to create uh, um a picture so basically this is law of attraction technique a picture of uh, the result you want so just keep keep this this result in your mind of something you're you're trying to manifest divine feminine energy will help so you need to tap into these energies 
being grounded, um, being grateful to life. So more soft attitude, no, no aggression attitude. You and your loved ones are safe. Also, I, if this is connected, the, the situation itself with like traveling process, you need to also mm, not to forget in, in your uh, chasing the success or your goals, which is so absolutely fine. We're here also for our goals to fulfill our talents. Don't forget about those people you love and keep on taking care of them or thinking of them. Like Don't abandon the emotional issues, even if you're chasing something material. The Holy Grail, stop the endless searching, inner quest. And also what I see here, if you were uh, thinking or asking the universe, hey, what I can do more? Basically now what you should do, it's only working. Even here we have on this picture, this lady, as if she's meditating, uh, third eye is open. These two eyes are closed. So now this is the time to work energetically uh, through your imagination. Basically, law of attraction. Through law of attraction, through your vibrations, through your energy, stop the endless searching. So basically, this something is already completed, something is done. But now you need to not to worry. This hesitation and discord, uncertainty will actually destroy the result. So now you need to keep yourself, I know it's difficult, keep yourself in these feminine, grounded, grateful energies. Activated Earth. Again, we have something about grounding and Mother Earth. Power places, ley lines, trust where you're led. Yeah, trust that something you were doing, uh, doesn't matter what was that project or your dream or your goal. Um, I mean, for some of you, we have this pregnant lady here. Maybe for, for some of you, this progressions, this I want to step into new chapter of life was having a baby, for example, for some women. So here there's there's some worry and you need to get rid of this exactly worry i have this deck somewhere i don't know uh i used it for a previous reading i think it's called um soul journeys lesson cards yeah it's it's here under my bed um there is this card worry remember that worry does not change the result i think that actually that it changes the result uh it makes it uh, less and uh, worse the worry power places maybe you need to visit power places some place you uh, or nature go into nature so now you need to be super chilled feminine grateful and grounded mm. oh my god i don't know if you can hear that but like my, my neighbors no that's very good i hear that someone is washing the floor i mean that's fantastic but i can hear it i hope you cannot hear it thank you for washing the floor now you're cool neighbors but um Oh, look, the, no the noise is gone. When I stopped calling them fucking neighbors, they <laughs> this is how law of attraction works. They stopped, started being nice. Okay, we have here this Iris. I'm just trying to read it. It's so small. Rainbows and messages. When it rains, look for rainbows. When it's dark, look for stars. Now you have this period, like this before completion, you're, wait you're waiting. And here, look, we have this clock here, waiting. So now it's waiting, but this waiting should not... should be relieved of any kind of worry or negativity because it might make the result worse yeah okay let's see message from your higher self we'll just ask again okay ten of feathers ten of swords so this is the energy of certain ending what i see here it's ending of thoughts or ending like what i can do more what i didn't do everything like now at this point you can just stop and wait and only work energetically mm -hmm. and the moon i, he I have here the moon the moon is again about worries about our uh, unsettled dark emotions unconsciousness unconscious fears unconscious anxieties when something is off moon energy it's like this gut feeling I, something is not okay you know imagine like this moon energy when you're walking um, in the dark, somewhere in the forest, somewhere you don't know where, it's dark. Only the moon, you don't see everything. So this is exactly very simple. A very simple, like, uh, I would say, sketch, but uh, very helpful to understand the energy. Okay. What your higher self wants to tell you? The chariotess. <laughs> this is a feminist deck, chariotess. 
I totally love this horse who looks like a dog. I mean, a very <laughs> weird dog. Or it's a dog, I don't know. Chariot. Ah, yeah, the two of them, black and white. I didn't notice the black. Ah, oh, very interesting. I didn't notice the black one, the black one. Don't notice the black ones. Don't no notice the shadow energy. Just ignore the shadow energy for a moment. Like, don't focus on negativity. Something will come up. You know, we are humans. Always some shit is coming to the surface from the depth of our beings. But, you know, this is why we are here. We are, need to purge ourselves and make our vibrations higher. What your higher self wants to tell you? The crone. The crone is uh, um, the hermit, normally number nine. But the crone has, again, feminine aspects. So this is, so this is about feminine. I, I chose a good deck, a feminist deck here. So charitas is about moving. So moving on where where you where you want to move. I don't know. Maybe this is exactly with traveling or something. So if you if your question is about traveling, that's why I, I, I keep on saying the traveler stone, or relocating, for example. So there's like ten ten of swords. If you're waiting about traveling, um, you can do it now. So ten of swords is like quitting the job or quitting the country you're in. You can do it now. And the crone is a mature, grown-up attitude and also a lot of time spent alone. So maybe you don't need to um, talk a lot about this. Usually when you're trying to manifest something, you shouldn't talk a lot about, oh, I want this, I want that, because um, we might actually, our brain will perceive it as a completed fact and we will never get it because we're like talking about, oh, I'm planning to, to go to this college or whatever. First you need to do it and after talk about it so some solitude needed so um, okay let me clarify this chariot because as far as I understood no effort is needed here like waiting here I mean if it's about relocating and traveling no waiting here if this is about the completion of I'm just trying to satisfy all the needs of the viewers <laughs> so if it's about traveling yeah it's like let it let it go let everything go and 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 move yeah and move and something is about like not telling too much to people or this hermit is like keeping to yourself introversial energy attention turned into or maybe you're like wanted to relocate with someone but you had to do it alone this is what I see here but this is if your situation is about the world is not relocating but about completing something major progressions how how is my progress am I succeeding is it completed or not? So in this situation, this chariot will mean energy of triumph, victory. So this is another meaning of chariot. Victorious. It's like in ancient time, this Victoria chariot would come into the city after some kind of battle or whatever. The victor has it all. The winner takes it all. <laughs> what else do I feel here? Looks like nothing. <laughs> I wanted to also check what the dark, dark energies. Yeah, so in this case, if this is a result, you need to feel like you you won the situation. And like, yeah, again, keeping to yourself. In your case, also, this crone would say mature, grown-up attitude and keeping things to yourself. What I wanted to ask is like, is there some warning? Um, and we will see if there is. We will use the Dark Mirror of Oracle. I totally love this deck. It work with dark energy. Sorry for the background noise. Actually, oops, sorry. I had to ask my neighbors who responsibly <laughs> washing the floors to keep it quiet. Thank you. All right. So let's see if there is something like to worry a warning. So maybe some dark energies uh, you need to be aware of, address them and to release them. Is there something to worry about? Ace of Flames. No, we're not gonna ask the Dark Mirror's energy. No, guys. So the only thing is this worry. Worry. You need to ground feminine energy. Focusing on uh, you and your loved ones are safe. So maybe giving the safety and energy of gratitude. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here, for bringing your beautiful energy and all the best to you. And I see you in the next reading. Hello, dear option two. You chose this psychic tarot. 
with this charoid. I totally love the color scheme. <laughs> I'm always trying to make to make them stylishly um, compatible. <laughs> and these are your oracles. So let's have a look. Let's see what the message of your higher self is about. Let's, I'll, I'll try to make it more specific. So let's see. Oh, Leo, shine. Leo is about uh, so um, Leo is ruled by Sun. Sun is the vitality, life, um, art, uh, uh, artistic joy of life. Um, um, well, he he we have here this very bright, uh, very uh, um, loudly speaking word shine, <laughs> shine bright like a diamond. So this is about your ego or, or about your persona. So ego would be like an healthy part of each zodiac sign has of course like us humans light and dark side so it's just no one is just good or bad oh even scorpios everyone thinks that scorpio is absolutely vicious uh, a <laughs> vicious monster not re not really so leo is this message from your higher self would be about your um like artistic side, maybe the way how you look, the way you express yourself. Um, if you're art, if you're an artist, that that's just a clear message. So art, something you're doing, something you're presenting or performing for other people in public. Or like how to say? I also when I see Leo, I think about Friedrich Nietzsche's um, superior man theory, which is not about, I know that it's connected to some like uh, uh, the word which is most probably forbidden to say on the internet, N-I-Z-I, yeah, but I mean it just, uh, you know, how propaganda uses uh, works. Uh, Friedrich Nietzsche is a genius, but he was defamed by bad guys using his philosophy. But what's the point of this Leo stage? So in, in his philosophy, each person goes for stages uh, of development. Mm -hmm. Camel, the uh, camel has this, um, how you call this thing, so it's like for storing, so we um, hear, we listen, we see, and we, we keep on, uh, we observing things, and we're like hoarding them, so like other things, for example, if you're an artist, you're studying first, for example, you're learning to sing, and you're, you're listening to other um, musicians, you're listening to your uh, teacher to advise, and to, you're going for uh, practices and, and stuff, so you're basically being um, passive, like you observe information, after comes this Leo stage, when you're like, you're shining, so this reading will be about the stage of now I'm shining a bit a bit like ego trip there is the third stage which is called child when um, like the real talent is born when it's not, not like ego connected okay so art ego joy of life uh, luxuriousness royalty all the all, all these things this connected uh, playfulness love so this is like a uh, fifth house energy also all right so this is what the message will be about let me just clarify a little bit to be sure I like to be sure before I start reading uh-huh interesting so this uh, these energies I said and combined with this mental conflict this is two of swords and intuition Ah, very interesting, uh, these cards, uh, very colorate, third eye, uh, sixth chakra, intuition and mental conflict. So your intuition in this situation saying one thing and your intelligence is actually uh, tearing you apart, you cannot take a decision. So basically, this deci decision is clear, listen to your intuition, <laughs> listen to your intuition. In any case of situation, our intuition, I mean... This is a prob problematic point. We need to understand uh, where is the voice of intuition and where, where is the voice of like fear or our intelligence. Intelligence is just a computer. Intelligence is like that camel I explained about you. It's just compilation. It doesn't have any creative energy. Okay, this is the start of creative energy. So intuition is our connection. It's like how the God, how higher self is talking to us. So you can train it to pra practice your intuition. For example, there is a cool exercise you take a candle and you basically look at the flame of a candle for like ideally it's like 15 minutes better in the evening when you go to sleep uh, but uh, like any time any time any time you can and also if it's difficult you can start with two minutes whatever also pra any pranayama any meditation so and gradually gradually it's like with sports or any kind of other activity studying so you will get there okay so what's the message balanced life mm-hmm so this is some kind of 
artistic expression of yours and mental conflict about it and intuition trying to tell you something. This is what the message will be about. Balanced life. Love seeks your well-being. This is Sufi wisdom oracle. Look at the bigger picture. Contemplation. Okay, this energy of mental conflict is about contemplation. So basically, how to resolve the mental conflict? Let's listen to the Tao Oracle. Tao Oracle, also one of my favorites. Gaining overview, detached observation, increased understanding, solitude, integration for reflection. So you don't need to make a decision. This mental conflict energy is about, I need to decide, why, first or second, first or this or, or that, right or left. You need to give yourself time and... This, I really love this, integration for reflection, detached observation. So this is what will help you. Respect your boundaries. Mm -hmm. Intimacy. The energy of intimacy supports our trusting that we are safe to allow closeness. The energy of intimacy might be also talking, uh, it's not really like about, definitely not about sex. Intimacy is about closeness and trust, but it might be also about like intimacy, honesty with yourself. And the sound was like, ding. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, spirit, for confirmation. Discernment. Oh, again, intuition energy. So it feels like you don't hear your intuition because of... Uh, Leo is also, I, I forgot, about desire. So something you either want or it's connected with your persona or your artistic um, goals or whatever you guys doing there. Um, like ego, my ego, myself, me, instinct. Okay, instinct. So this makes situation a bit uh, difficult because you're, you, it's difficult to detach. I think like this uh, mental conflict is about yourself, so like you, you cannot detach and not care. But this is actually one of spiritual practices to try to detach from yourself also, like overcoming ego. Hello to Osho <laughs> with overcoming ego. Oh my God, this hello to overcoming ego. Um, sacred Lotus with enlightenment. <laughs> wow. No mud, no lotus. Lotus grows in mud, so basically going through uh, like negative, dirty energies, we're uh, becoming clearer. It's not um, that why souls are coming to our earth, uh, because we want to chill and enjoy life and be like in a Disneyland or a vacation. No, it's because we are actually clearing ourselves, purging ourselves from some negative tendency. And it's like, like a little game <laughs> for souls. All right, another part of message. The void, stop, embrace, winter, great cosmic womb. Mm -hmm. So you need some a period of detached observation to listen to you, to uh, start hearing again, maybe in, uh, in your case, your intuition and your instincts. Definitely hear this mental conflict uh, the situation will not be solved through thinking or through brainstorming. It will only be solved through intuition, messenger, and yeah, no, like, like messenger, messengers, serious energy, bringing harmony and balance. Oh. Inner Earth, you'll survive this. New solutions and beginnings. Again, what is the message of your higher self towards you today? Mm -hmm. Five of wands or five of fire, challenges and obstacles. Obstacles and challenges. So the message starts with, there are always challenges, there will be always challenges and obstacles. And you met a series of those. And very interesting that here, I don't understand what we have here. Look, I, I thought that this was the falcon here. I don't know if you can see it right here. And this guy has to jump. It's like the Indiana Jones movie scene, I swear. So the symbol falcon, I don't know, this is a bird. It looks like a falcon. So it looks like the wings. It's very difficult to like wings are like this and like that. But I don't know, like two sets of pa pairs of wings. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. So maybe falcon is like your totem, something with falcon. There is such a crystal, falcon eye. I totally love this crystal. Maybe you need to uh, Google it and maybe uh, this is a crystal which will help you. You can read the healing and magical properties and see if, it's, if it resonates with you. Okay, what is the message from your higher self? Patience. 
please have some patience and you need to restore balance this is temperance card temperance card is about inner alchemy uh, so trying to find your measure basically um what is very interesting that um this uh, two of swords energy it's about uh i don't know why my camera is so low sorry okay <laughs> better um so the two of swords it's like this energy of you have to choose this or that right now but temperance energy balance it's about not choosing black or white but finding your shade of gray basically finding your balance finding your measure so how much for me is little or how much for me is too much the message mm -hmm. and another another five so you're going through some very um i don't know either triggering or uh you know so people are very different for some people a very triggering situation is when you have to wait for some people this triggering situation is about uh too much hustle that you have to do like oh this that uh, i need to do this and like uh, too much activity people are very different so decide which one is yours which one is yours but we have two crisis cards fifths uh, fives fives are about stress about conflict obstacles and challenges financial and material changes or difficulties so this i feel like this uh, <laughs> these ch difficulties they're trying to evoke this lion in you this um king of animals kind of energy spirit so for this process and also like this card is called here patience but um temperance has more meanings to this so basically if you need these difficulties in your life now to awaken um your strong energy so your vitality for example your um your will leo is also about will desire dignity like if we take not ego but uh, like something more spiritual because i'm looking at this card and we have lily here in lenormand cards we have lilies and which they're talking about dignity so basically you need this um difficult period to uh, change a bit your personality so you, you, again you're going like in higher vibrations but i feel like it's more about uh, like you will learn as if like to love and respect yourself more for overcoming these challenges all right what i wanted to see else here yeah i'm looking at my dark mirror deck here i'm like okay let's check the <laughs> dark energies if there is a warning for you maybe you need to be aware of some negativity and you need to address it and release it to ask what it's why it's coming to your life and okay ah no i missed the card <laughs> i wanted to speak oh no is there any warning or negative uh, energies you might be you need to be aware of no 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 partnership and alliances if you have some distrust like if you're working with someone or you're um uh you're counting uh on someone you can count on that person this is definitely a good partnership or alliance interesting that uh, this is a three of wands normally and this it has this kind of uh, meaning but this is a uh, author's opinion and here what we have a very interesting moving on six of swords and here the waiting game so basically before you move on you you have a waiting game but this waiting game it's actually not uh, for waiting it's about finding this balance so this temperance card is very interesting because from outside if you don't know looks like person is just waiting and chilling but inside there's a, a huge process going on because this balance we need to find is dynamic so it's like always changing because we're always adapting to situations outside of our lives all right guys so this was your message from your higher self i hope it helped i hope it resonated feel free to leave your comments of course i keep on forgetting this i'm like yeah people will definitely understand they can comment i, I really enjoy uh reading to the situations to what's going on with you guys and uh, hope to hear from you soon and see you in the next reading love and light guys Hello, dear option three. Very interesting timestamp. I, I, I just started your reading. Mm, sorry to st start spontaneously, but it's like 36, 39, 369. It's actually mm, Nikola Tesla's healing. You can, you can Google about it or like search a video on YouTube. Nikola Tesla's healing music. There's something about this magic. I don't remember it right now for sure to explain to you, but something with this, the frequencies like 
369, for example, Hertz, Solfeggio. Um, I don't know, in case you're into this music healing, try this. Okay, sorry for spontaneity. <laughs> this is your option, you chose this beautiful Knight of Cairo pyramid. This is like adventuring. Okay, this very pyramid, I don't know if it's like real or not, I'm not sure. But, I mean, it looks like. <laughs> and Dreams of Gaia. Tarot. So, let's see. First, uh, I prepared your oracles. And this one from Star Codes uh, Astro Oracle, we will use as um, to understand what is the message about. To specify it a little bit. So, in case this is not... You see that you're not interested in this situation. So, skip it or try another option. Or just don't uh, put the <laughs> wrong information in your head. Ignore it. Okay, Capricorn with Achieve, number 10, in case it's also Zodiac number 10, in case it matters for you. Numerology. Well, so definitely your career issues, your achievements, your goals. Capricorn is not only about career, but it's like about our social... Uh, I, I really love this keyword for Capricorn, mastery. So it's really not about like, oh, I'm going to climb the social ladder for people to think I'm like this or that. No, Capricorn is not like that. Uh -uh -uh. Capricorn is about um, basically... Um, the sign is uh, very much about respect, but Capricorn needs to respect himself or herself. So it's like about the self-assessment rather, this, or a mastery, like reaching the mastery in something which is important for you. So many Capricorn people are actually, though, you know, in astrology, like they say 10 house is about career, but they go uh, like self-employed because Capricorn is like a boss sign. <laughs> so, and, and like high vibrational Capricorns, they like to be their own boss. They don't like to boss around other people. Okay, so. Career, business, mastery, goals, achievements, um, social ladder maybe. This is what this message is all about. So, uh, and Capricorn is about persistence. So it's not uh, some easy kind of task. So something which you need to uh, approach in stages, for example, in years. Mm -hmm. All right, let me clarify with Tarot. Uh, maybe specify more the topic of the message from your higher self. Okay, and the two of um, earth or two of pentacles this is choice so we see how she's juggling with with four x so um either true oh interesting <laughs> look at this card also looks pretty much the same a person like holding something you see two hands holding two swords here and here two options so basically this is weighing option making a choice or um like juggling between responsibilities like maybe you have two career paths and you're trying to choose uh, one which is better or you're like juggling between one and one and the second and you see this card is about uh, like reason and the consequences so I mean, you see how this this hand here is bleeding i don't know if i can focus it for you guys ah uh, my camera is not the <laughs> oh my god I'm, I'm filming with front camera on my smartphone of course of course it's not the best camera in the world all right so here we see this hand with this bleeding knife so here you have he holds it like with the spike up and here down. So like some kind of situation, maybe you're juggling responsibility. Maybe you have like two options or two jobs or two paths or something. And you started feeling negative consequences of this juggling. So what I what I see here, this, yeah. So maybe, maybe this card is about time management, definitely. But uh, <laughs> I, I could, this guy is, a, um, I heard one person, <laughs> a tarot reader I mean, in Russian, she called this guy in this deck, Chinese manager. Yeah, like this guy is a Chinese manager. Manager too. I love this expression. It's like you're running out of time. So in in your um, on your way to your achievement, let's let's call it simple. Hmm. All right. Now let's see the message from your higher self about this situation. So definitely about your the tenth house completion. Ooh. <laughs> Final attainment, victory, a crescendo, a job well done, perfection, peak performance, prudence. Ooh, you're performing well, the masculine. So here in this option, in the previous we had divine feminine and here we have masculine. <laughs> romantic love, ooh. The frequency of romantic love supports our experience to know ourselves through the reflection of a conscious lover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like business, 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 Capricorn, romantic love. <laughs> okay, spirit is very surprising. So you need to more um, 
count on your masculine energy masculine side of yours so being very persistent and um, okay let, let me see because now I, I feel like i lost the message and <laughs> i want to read the next one open mind replace the old cycle with a new and exciting one definitely you need to add some romantic love into your life <laughs> You're very close to achieving your goal. Okay, guys, so the message is definitely here about, uh, yes, keep on moving towards towards your goal. Your masculine energy will help you. You're very close, so you need like to push, push, push a little bit more. But you need to also start including... Like, yeah, really, if you were uh, for a while single, you were not um, into relationships, you were focusing on your job. So now the new cycle... When you achieve your goal, you need to promise yourself and you this this is like a really straight message for from the, the spirit here. You need to let some romantic love or romantic relationships into your life. Reveal your truth. Mm -hmm. So maybe this period when you wanted to uh, you set some goals. So for example, you were doing college or university. Yeah, of course you needed to focus on that. But now um something about this reveal the truth i totally love this deck actually this um messenger is oracle it's the same author as, as this dreams of guy i mean i have very special attitude to to these decks okay let me see what this reveal the truth your truth is telling to us again this is a bit like this these guys are like twins this is my twin flame card in this deck um this is a hard-working person here so there's like two people live in you. So one of them is this hard work and this achiever, this uh, Capricorn. So basically these goals you're uh, achieving. So like it's just one aspect of your personality, this masculine one. So this aspect of you will be very happy when you achieve this goal. But now you need to think about the other <laughs> aspect of yours. I mean, maybe you're a generally fluid person like me because I totally feel this, uh, this um, story here. Okay, the guy who lives in me is responsible for this. The lady is responsible for something else. So here we have this masculine energy. You need to push a bit through to be in this masculine energy. But when you will achieve this goal, Okay, you need to get rid of this uh, achiever costume. <laughs> you need to change a little bit into maiden. So it will be time when you can um, afford it, basically. The maiden. This is a very cool card. Um, it means basically the dawning of some new relations. So basically opening your heart, let's say. So, so you cannot, you know, you need to meet a person and it should happen naturally. You cannot just, you know, um, order them like uber eats <laughs> yeah joy oh energy of joy so basically you're very close to achieving your goal now add more romantic energies more joy more like this a childish a bit something which you could not afford because you needed to complete the process so basically you needed to be more serious for for a while i feel like it might be years for some of you like really college or university and now whoo <laughs> gap year starts maybe it's not a gap year but it just definitely you need to open up more your uh, female side even if you're a man just this like romantic um, uh, divine feminine lives in each man also as uh, the same way as in each uh, divine masculine lives in each woman we basically we are all basically like um by gender people but due to cultural this patriarchal this christian norms for 2000 years we totally forgot who we are subrosa hidden in plain sight mysteries learning and teaching mm -hmm. yeah so maybe from this uh, the most materialistic uh, energy of capricorn you need to mo move a bit into more uh, esoteric subtle realms i would say the great mother surrender to the mystery fall into her arms The Courageous Peony. Subrosa Peony. We have many flowers here. And here we have the flower botanical inspirations card with Camellia. Many flowers. The Courageous Peony. Multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. Yeah. So this, yeah, reveal your truth. So this one of persona of yours who's achieving this goal, working it, it's not, not single only you. So there are other facets of you and you will um, invest, explore them soon this new chapter um will close yeah replace the old cycle with a new and exciting one it's not it doesn't mean like right now when you achieve this goal your main goal this capricorn goal 
the age of light you've been training for this for lifetimes and camellia message destiny it is not in the stars to hold our destiny but in ourselves william shakespeare so you decide on your destiny some some parts of our destiny are fixed but mostly there's free will law law free will okay let me check if there is some dark energies like you need to be warned about something so some dark energies you need to or negative energies you need to address you need to pay attention and process and release oops oh. <laughs> Uh, no, <laughs> no dark energies. Cool. All the free options without no warning. The cards which popped out. Oh my god, that's so cool. Some kind of maybe, you know, like your soulmate is coming to you and you're so overworked. You're like, no, I'm not going for dates or something. But the, like, you know, a really cool person is coming towards you. The mother. This is the empress and the union. Basically, that would be the lover's major oracle. This is a bit different deck, but doesn't matter. The mother. The Empress. Oh, I totally love this mother here with the <laughs> little turtle. <laughs> and the Union. No, the warning is uh, let some romantic energies, joy, femininity into yourself. And what I see here is actually very interesting. If you are in... A, because here we have the Maiden. The Maiden is the young lady. And uh, the mother is basically like a fulfilled woman if we go to this uh, female trinity the maiden, the mother, and the crones is like um, triple goddess, triple goddess in neo paganism. So this is the the fulfilled woman because look, she's pregnant here. So this this person you might meet, this soulmate, it might be also like a, a parent. I don't know. You don't have to be uh, even if you're a man. Like this this is a reading for you. Don't freak out. So this is the person you will meet. So you might meet mother of your future children. So some very significant union. Don't miss out because what i feel here is this person i see this person here with this capricorn is like they are working they're working they're like no 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 and there's like a real soulmate coming to you and they're like hey i'm here I'm like no i'm busy so please be more open-minded when you achieve your goal finally or maybe start now <laughs> start now being a bit more open all right guys i wish you all the best i wish you to meet your love of your life yeah i feel like here is like you're gonna meet the love of your life so guys Success uh, to your to the job of your life and happy meeting with your lo with the love of your life. Okay, guys, all the best to you. Hope everything will be fine. And you will comment to the, your positive message. Yes, I did it. Yes, it happened <laughs> under under some next video. And I see you in the next one. Bye.